In this video, I'll show you how to solve word problems involving the cosine law. Just a reminder, the cosine law is stated right here. And the question asks, find the area of the gosset shown below. The way I see this is that I have a line, which we will label x for our unknown. And this is connected to two other lines, one that is 20 centimeters, 20.0, and another that is 18. In addition to that, we're told that if we extend this line, that it makes a 35 degree with the horizontal. 35 degrees. We can use this fact to our advantage, because if we draw another line, one that is parallel to the horizontal, then we can use alternating angles to find out this angle. Because in alternating angles, which you probably know it as the Z rule, this angle and this angle are the same. That being said, in order to use the cosine law, you have to have a situation or a configuration where you have side, 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 and in our case we don't, or side, angle, side. So we have side, we don't have this angle, but we will derive it soon, and we have this side. How can we find this missing angle, which we can then add to 35? Well, it's a 90 degree angle. And because it's a 90 degree angle, we can add 90 plus 35 to give us our final angle of 125. Now we can use the cosine law, and the cosine law that we have here is in terms of C. So let's call this unknown side, C, or little c. This will be big C, big A, and big B. Let's substitute everything we know. We know little a, and we know little b. So we have little c is equal to little a squared plus little b squared minus 2 times 18 times 20 cosine 125. Using our calculator, the first thing that we will evaluate is 18 squared plus 20 squared. 18 squared plus 20 squared. And that gives us 724. Next, we'll evaluate this part and multiply it to cosine 125. So negative 2 times 18 times 20 times cosine 125. And this gives us positive 412.97. Positive 400 and 12.97. And to isolate for c, we have to square root both sides. So we sum these up and we square root. That gives us, well first let's add 724 to our number, then square root. We should end up with 33.719. Now if we want to be extremely accurate with significant figures, Notice that our numbers all extended to three significant figures. Therefore, our numbers should also be three significant figures. We can truncate right after the seven. So our final answer is 33.7 centimeters. And so there you have it. That is how to solve word problems involving the cosine law.